Hi there. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and annotate or draw on a picture on your Google Docs file, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and make a new Google document file, Google Docs. And I'm going to name this as Map, okay? So US Map. Let's try that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and insert a drawing, okay? So you have to do this first. You just can't add an image and then try to add uh, an arrow or highlight it. Um, it's not going to work that way. So you need to go to Insert and go to Drawing, okay? So it gives us a little window of the drawing app. So now I can click on the image. And you can search, you can add images by uploading an image that you have already. You can take a snapshot, so it'll take a picture, okay, of yourself. If you know the URL, you could do that of the picture itself, or go to your albums. In this case, we're gonna go, we're, gonna, we're not gonna go to Google Drive, although we have a lot of pictures there also, but I'm gonna search for an image there, okay? So it's going to search on Google and life and stock images, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to type in U.S. map. Search for it. Okay, so it does give us some options of what kind of, what type of file do I want to look for. You can do a face, photo, clip art, line drawing. Okay, and then these, you can isolate the searches by color. So if I want to just black and white, it's going to find me, it's going to show just the black and white pictures. Okay, so like that, go back to red pictures. Okay, blue pictures, and so on. So I'm going to go back to the multi multi uh, color ones here. I'm going to choose the first black and white one. Press select. Now, it added the picture. I'm going to shrink it a little bit by grabbing the handles. Okay, and you can see I have the um markers on these guidelines on so i'm going to put it right there first of all i'm going to put a title on this so it does give me a text box option here the united states of america okay i'm going to move this over squeeze it the text box that is and center it okay and you can also add shapes to this as well. So it does have shapes, arrows, callouts. So it's pretty cool. You can add, um, make like a comic book, and even equation um, icons. The, these arrows, okay, you can use these arrows certainly, but I'm going to show you how to use the other kind of arrows using selecting the line. So click on that. I'm going to use this arrow. Okay, and it also has these kind of other lines here that you want to try and check it out. So I'm going to go to arrow. I'm going to click, drag, and stop. Now I wanted to point it down to San Francisco. Okay. What I'm going to do, I need to click on that arrow. Oop, I made another arrow, so I just go ahead and just delete that. So I highlight the arrow, and I can grab one of these corners, the handles. And I could rotate them. So click, drag it around, make it face the other way, and I'm gonna move it pointing towards our hometown of San Francisco. So I click that. I'm gonna make it a little thicker so we can actually see it. So I need to go to change the line weight right here. Bump it up to eight. Oop, a little bit too much, maybe down to four. Okay. I'm gonna change the color so it stands out more. Click on that. Okay, so that's how you add a picture, uh, an arrow to a picture. Now let's put it into our Google Docs. Save and close. And here we go. It's in my Google Docs now. Okay, now I can't change the arrow. Um, it's already part of the picture. Okay, I'm going to make this in the center. Let's center this picture. Okay, but if I needed to change the arrow, I just go back to edit. It goes back to the drawing app. And now I can select on the arrow itself and I can rotate it again. Okay. So that's how you add annotations or drawings on top of an, of an image. All right. Hope that helps.